What up all my fellow foul addicts? It's nice to have each and every one of you guys back. Today, we're going to be talking about the number one thing as a fowler, water fowler. Every one of you guys, do not ever forget this item at home. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? This bad boy. That's right, a plug. We're going to go over why you don't forget this at home. Some of the reasons why you just don't forget this, buddy. Some of the trouble you can get in. Some of the some of the things that can happen to you if you don't have this son of a gun in your gun when you go to shoot geese or ducks. Yo! So we're back here in the man cave again. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous outside. I am able to wear a hoodie. We're in the low 50s. I uh, hope all you guys are getting geared up, getting your guns ready, getting your plugs in your guns, getting your decoys ready because man it's feeling like fall outside. And I know all of you foul addicts are going to be getting at it here real soon on that dove. So, here we go. Oh! <laughs> Glad to be back in the old flower chair here in the Foul Friday studio. Bobby Guy Film Studio, whatever the heck you want to call this thing. It's not really a studio. It's actually a more of a cluttered up man cave. But, let's move on. So today, guys, is about the plugs. Now... The reason why I'm bringing this up is just a simple reminder before the waterfowl season gets here. Remember guys, you're shooting federal regulated birds. So it's just a reminder guys, and, and I always put my plug in when dove season hits. Now the reason is, it's because I usually take it out during the summer for pigeon, uh, you know, skeet shooting for practice during the off season, all that jazz. But again, I just leave my plug in when dove until season starts. If you get stopped and checked and you don't have your plug in when you're shooting ducks or geese, what can happen, you ask? What, I mean, what can happen? I really don't know the defined regulations or, or laws or fines or penalties here in Kansas. I didn't look at them that well. I got some examples from people that I'll read here in just a second. But what I want you guys to do, guys, from your state, tell me the state you're in. You know, if, if, if you got caught, tell me that you got caught and then how much it costs you, what ha whatever happened with, with your predicament. Uh, but even if you know somebody who got caught, tell us what state, state blah, I can't talk. Tell us what state you're from and, and what the punishment was, basically. Uh, I know it differs per state and it really differs per incident. So, you know, if you were mouthy with the game warden, if you weren't cooperative, let's say you had your plug out and you actually had four shells in it when he checked it, there's a lot of variances that go into what they're going to nail you with, what they're going to penalize you for. Again, I know you guys are not stupid. I know you guys know this law, but like I said, I love to remind you guys of this one important thing that you absolutely cannot forget to do. But like I said, drop a comment down below. Give me your personal experiences or someone that you knew, what happened to them. I'd love to hear it per state and, and see what the differences are per state. It'd be uh, pretty interesting for everybody to find that out. So drop them down below. So excuse me if I have to read from my notes here, but I got on some online blogs and I found some people who actually got fined for this and penalized. And it seems like uh, usually what the fine is going to be if they just if they check your gun and you don't have a plug in is it looks like they usually take your gun away and you get a hundred dollar fine with a fifty dollar court cost. And one, you know after you go to court, usually you're going to get that back. Or usually, sorry, usually you're going to get your gun back after you go to court. But it seems like that is kind of the average thing that you usually get nailed with. So that they, they take your gun away and they fine you about 150 bucks. That's with court costs and stuff. Now, I'm going to read from my paper here. Uh, these are some other things that I read happen to people. So, suspension of hunting license for one year or more. Uh, they can absolutely confiscate anything you own, your truck, 
your gun, your shells, your bag, your cameras, it doesn't matter what it is, they can confiscate any of that stuff and use it as evidence and or forfeit. They can take your stuff and not give it back if they want to. If they get enough dirt on you, they can take your shit and never give it back. So that's why I'm saying this is freaking important, guys. Jesus! Now look, guys, I know, I know, none of us make the rules, but by God, each and every one of us have to follow these rules. If you don't, you're gonna get your ass nailed. But one thing I ask and wonder, and, I, and I'm sure a lot of you are sitting there wondering it right now, is, why have a plug law if you already have laws on limits of species and gender of birds in the first place? You know, bag limits, daily limits. So what I'm saying is if even if you didn't have a plug, it, let's say there wasn't a plug law and you got stopped and you were over on your birds, you're still going to get charged for being over on your birds whether, you, whether there was a plug law or not. So I guess what I'm getting to is... I read that the plug law was actually introduced back in back in the 1900s, like it was that long ago, uh, to to regulate the amount of birds hunters were killing. So to limit you to three shells, so you weren't able to slaughter, as Peter would say, as many birds. But my argument is still there are limits per species and gender. So why the plug law? The answer to this long ass question is because they can. The government can do whatever the hell they want essentially. And all you know that as well as I do. If they want to have a plug law and a limit law, by God, they have the right to do that. We are citizens and we have to abide by this, guys. So, needless to say, to wrap this thing up, abide by your rules, abide by the laws, uh, you know, you're not gonna get away with it that long if you do do it. And to be honest with you, I couldn't see you killing that many more birds even if you didn't run a plug. There's a lot of times I don't even squeeze off three shells, you know, even on big wads of geese. So I don't really understand not running a plug. I wouldn't really need five all the time, to be honest with you. But, uh, but anyways guys, I made this video just as a reminder to you guys to, to put them plugs in now. Get them in so you don't have to worry about it the rest of the year. Up until snow, you know, snow geese comes and then we can just freaking slam without any plugs and that will be the shiznit. I will be heading to Nebraska to Andrew Flair's house uh, in one week from today. So be looking out for the videos that we're going to be, be putting up. We're going to do some till hunting, going to do some dove hunting. Going to have a bunch of fun in the field. So be looking out for that guys. And if you haven't, go follow me on Instagram. Uh, I try to put something up every day on that thing. Uh, so go follow me here. Go follow your boy. Give me a follow. Drop a comment on some stuff. Uh, and also go follow our, our webpage. Or our webpage. I sound like an idiot. Our Instagram page, Ducks Waterfowl. That's where you guys are going to get all the updates, uh, new, release, new releases of gear, apparel, merchandise, all this stuff that we got coming out to you guys. You're going to get photos of it and we'll be able to showcase it to you guys a little more, you know, more frequently than YouTube videos. So go give both of those a follow. I appreciate every one of you guys always watching my videos. I welcome all you new subscribers. I see the numbers. I actually read all your names. We're going to start, I'm going to start shouting out subscriber names again like we did you know, a few months back. So be looking out for all that stuff. I thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Peace. Guala, 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 guala. She said her name, but I forgot it. I seen it like this, so I copped it. If you ain't talking money, change the topic.